This is the Audi R8 V10 Plus. It's got a massive 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 engine with 610 brake horsepower and 560 newton meters of torque. It goes from 0 to 100 in 3.2 seconds and reaches a top speed of 330 kilometers an hour. And this is what it sounds like. Half of the components used in the R8 are directly relatable to Audi's racing program. It's a half race car, half road car. And that begs the question, does it work on Irish roads? You see, unlike some other supercars, I think you can use an R8 every day in Ireland. And it's all thanks to the very clever way that Audi has designed it. Let me explain it on this totally made up graph, but I think it serves a purpose. This is the comfy to sport graph. So up here is maximum comfortability. Here, maximum sportiness. Now let's take an Audi A6, regular two liter diesel automatic. It's really comfy, not all that sporty. It sits around about there. Now let's take a really sporty Audi, something like the Le Mans winning cars. It goes all the way over into maximum sportiness, but it's not very comfortable. So it sits around about here. This is the Le Mans car. Now, the R8, where does it sit? Well, there is no doubting that it's very sporty, but it also happens to be quite comfortable as well. And I think it hits a bit of a sweet spot in terms of supercar design. And let me explain how they've done it. First off, Audi uses its space frame technology when building the R8. And in a nutshell, that means they use an awful lot of aluminium. Aluminium is really good when building a car for two reasons. The first reason is it's very strong. So this car has a great torsional rigidity. It's capable of going around corners at fast speeds and not flexing or bending. That's key to its performance. The second reason is aluminium is really light and lightness is key to the performance of a sports car. You see, you can have all the power in the world, but if the car weighs loads, it's not gonna have a good power to weight ratio. The R8 has a lot of heavy components. It has heated leather seats, a multifunction steering wheel, it has all the electrics that go with the sat-nav and the ABS, the four-wheel drive system, and massive naturally aspirated 5.2 liter V10 petrol engine. These things weigh a lot, but by using a lot of aluminum, they can reduce the weight of the physical footprint of the car's structure. That means that this car only weighs 1,630 kilograms. That is very impressive engineering. Throughout the Audi range, you get a thing called Drive Select. It's a little button in the car that allows you to switch between different driving modes. So you have things like Efficient, or Comfort, or Dynamic. And in a regular Audi A6, to take that car as an example again, Comfort feels very comfortable, and Dynamic feels slightly more sporty, but still, if I was to sit into the car, blind test it, and was told to drive for 50 or 100 kilometers, would I know what mode I was in? I don't think I would. However, the modes in the R8 are like night and day. I think I can best explain the difference between comfort and dynamic in the R8 by comparing it to a Victoria's Secret's lingerie model. Bear with me here. You see, in comfort mode, this car is really easy to live with. It's quiet, it's sedate, it's comfortable through the gears. I have the exhaust in standard. I'm not making too much noise or drawing attention to myself. This is flying below the radar, easy going, chilled out. In the very same way as Victoria's Secrets model sitting at home with no makeup on, a hoodie and a pair of baggy tracks at bottoms, is just your average girl, except She's a Victoria's Secrets model, and she's got a really hot body underneath those clothes, and this is still an R8, and it still has 610 brake horsepower. But then when you put the car into dynamic mode, the tone of the engine changes. You go into your exhaust, and you change it from standard to sport. And all of a sudden, things are very different here. 
It's like the Victoria's Secrets model standing at the end of the runway. She's got her bra, her knickers and her wings on and she's ready to go out and have a party. It's a carnival, it's a, it's a song and a dance. This car is just playful all of a sudden. The down changes blip the throttle. This is a sense of occasion that you get. But when you're coming through a town and you don't want to draw too much attention to yourself, you can quiet it all down again, put it back into comfort, turn the exhaust off and everything is back to normal. But I think the most impressive thing about the R8 is that for all its very clever engineering, and it does have some brilliant engineering, it's the fact that this car has a personality and a charm that really is so endearing. And it's something that you can't design into a car. It either has it or it doesn't. And the R8 has a wonderful personality. Yeah, that's a golden opportunity. That's a golden opportunity.